And we are live. Hello and hola. Thank you so much for tuning back in into Tapping Into Your Greatness. You're tuned into FMB Radio and this is a talk show hosted by me, your fairy queen Tatiana. I have an exciting show planned for you today. This show is all about celebrating personal excellence and diving into the minds of highly motivated individuals. So before we dive into the show, I have a few things I want to get off my chest. So first thing is, last week I hosted, well, facilitated an important event by COS. So that stands for Celebrating Our Similarities. And the event was called Peace After Violence. You can find the live stream on the Celebrate Our Similarities YouTube channel. What I learned from the event is that domestic violence doesn't only just impact the victims, but also their families and wider communities. So I'd encourage you to look after the people that are, you know, at risk and make sure that everyone is safe during this time. I would also encourage you to watch the recording as it's so powerful. You just hear so many impactful um, stories that will change someone's, someone's life. So second of all, today's guest is the definition of beauty and brains. She is not only a scientist, a business owner, but also a talk show host of her talk show, Talk Time with Carms. And most importantly, she is a true friend of mine. It is with much pleasure that I have her on the show today. And in a few seconds, you will understand exactly why I love her. And finally, for all of you tuning in today, if you want to send us a question or a comment, please feel free to slide into my DMs on Instagram at Fairy Queen Tatiana or at FMB Radio. And now it's time to introduce you to our guest of Tapping Into Your Greatness, Carmel. Carmel, how are you feeling today? Hi, I am feeling good. I'm feeling well rested. Yes. Feeling positive. (laughs) Oh, that is good. This is exactly what I need from you today. So thank you for coming on the show today. So having me. (laughs) No, thank you. And you know, you name it, you have done it. You've accomplished so many things in your life thus far. And growing up, so um, we have had, you know, I don't know about you, but there's always people um, that our parents compare us to. And you were one of those persons that, you know, I was compared to all the time. Uh, you're an absolutely amazing person and a true friend of mine. Uh, we live such different lives. and But the love and respect that I have found in our friendship is something that is so everlasting and you can see that in the proof of the time that we've been friends. So it's not often that you find and meet people in your life that will stay with you throughout your life journey and it's so incredible to see your transformation over the years. So please share with us your journey and that led you to being a scientist, a business owner and also the talk show host of Your Talk Time with Carms Show. It's so weird. Thank you so much for having me on your show. It's so strange being on the other side. I was just saying, it's so weird. I usually do the interviews. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> you see the interviews. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Um, you know, putting putting everything together and how you just said it, like you know what I do. I just it's so strange because I don't really think about what I do in terms of together. I'm just thinking, right, today's Monday. I need to do this, I need to do that, so it's Tuesday. So to say, oh, you're a scientist, oh, you're a business owner, oh, you're a talk show host. I'm like, whoa, I do do that. (laughs) That is me. (laughs) When do I have the time? (laughs) Yes, yes. So what what led you to that journey to to be where you are right now? It's, 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 I think a lot of faith because, you know, what I planned isn't where I ended up. Um, obviously I started with psychology and sociology you know that was the whole thing there was a drama and everything so to end up in science I was like whoa um, but you know you just have to think what I wanted to I wanted something I didn't know what I wanted I feel like at 17 18 16 you don't really know what you want you just mainly know what you don't want <laughs> mm, so yes I which just, is a good clue which is a good clue <laughs> I just knew that I just wanted to get into an industry where I can also give back at some point in my life. Yes. Um, I think health is well. Mm. Um, so I'm not good with accounting and numbers. So that's just <laughs> not for me. Um, so health it was. <laughs> yes. So I couldn't get into work. I got into health. And um, my thing always was that I wanted to you know obviously I'm Congolese 
So, you know, just throw it in there if you didn't know. I'm from Congo. Representing Congo right now. Democratic <laughs> Republic. Um, so I just thought, well, if I can use my brain and I use my knowledge to actually help people in the future in Congo, that is something that I would want to do. I don't know what, <laughs> but that's what I want to do. Um, so that's how I got into, well, I got into biomedical sciences because my original journey was meant to be medicine. Yeah. And you know, you know how it is in college, you, you know, you're having a good time, <laughs> but you're not revising. Um, so your grades flip up a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I know exactly how it goes. Exactly yeah, how it goes. Yeah, and then, you know, uh, I know my dad helped me find the course because he was like, well, you said you always wanted to do this, so why are you doing psychology? You said, what, what, where did it change? Where, you know, and, you know, he actually found biomedical sciences. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. So mm -hmm. uh, moved unis, went there, studied it. You know, it was, it was interesting. <laughs> it was interesting. But I just, what drove me is my future plans is what drives me. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to do what you have to do to get to where you want to be. And yes. right now I'm in the, I got to do what I got to do because where I, I want you. to be <laughs> is over there. So yeah, and ended up, you know, very lucky, you know, I was working throughout uni, but then I ended up in a microbiology lab and um, it's very lucky actually a few days before I got a job before finishing my last exam so I was like oh okay and always um, good always good yeah so from there it just it just my CV slightly changed more into you know quality and labs and things like that and obviously I tried you know what I just think God has a plan because I've tried to move out of science and then I think what you say is actually very important because all I know is that I where I want to end up so yeah. I tried to move out and I think God was like mm -mm, come back <laughs> so, <laughs> so I came back so I'm here I work in a lab and to be honest I am giving something back because I'm actually working in a COVID lab now so um I guess I am where I need to be right now <laughs> well your 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 science you know I guess your journey is, is so incredible because I don't think that when you were at college you would think you know there's going to be a global pandemic and people are going to need my skill like working in a lab you know for people at outside this planet we didn't really think about labs as much but now with the research that is needed to have a vaccination lab people or scientists are so important and now you're one of those people who are you know helping nations not just the UK but just wider and you were saying earlier about you wanted to help you know, your country back home and now you're able to help the UK and take that knowledge with you to even you know do more work in the future oh yeah 100 percent I mean it's it's not been fun it's been very hard mentally physically emotionally I just think you know as human beings we're meant to be free we're not meant to be in lockdown so it's taken a bit of a toll on every single person however it you just have to force yourself to kind of look at the positive the positive side of things is that like you said labs were a little bit oh no one thinks about who works in the lab they just think about the doctor who gives you the news but not the work before yes. you know <laughs> definitely not the in between um but with this pandemic you know it's actually created quite a lot of jobs i know people have lost jobs but then you know i don't know it's 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 been a it's been good and bad it's bittersweet so yeah i am giving yes. back that is good hate the fact that we're in a lockdown I just, no <laughs> <laughs> no it, it's fine but you know I think like like you're saying even I don't know were there any like black scientists that were role models or just any scientist that was a role model for you or would you say you know your your parents seeing that this is what what's something you've always spoke about this is what, what you want to do why aren't you connecting with that is that where did the inspiration for for science in itself um, to be honest, it was it was really just my parents because I I'm, I'm, I have so many different interests. Yes, <laughs> so many different interests. So I really like you know I'm into fashion. I love traveling. I, I I've got quite a creative mindset. Mm. Um, so I didn't really take time to think about all these scientists and who's going to motivate me. Like I'm not going to lie. 
sometimes <laughs> I sit there and people are talking about all these different scientists and all these different things and I am lost in that room yes <laughs> because you know and I think at first it was one of those where I was thinking is this really meant for me because they're talking about this and this invention and this happened in the 1980s and you know because when people are really really interested in something you can see the passion yeah and I think for my passion is what my future plan is is what the passion is so um when I that's what drove me so having someone in the background you know being you know, being blessed enough to say, for someone to be saying, oh, well, you said this was going to be a plan. You said this is what you do, you want to do in the future. So if you do this, it will end you up here. But why are you there? Why, are you? you know, you've got that in the back of your mind. And I know sometimes it's nagging because you just want to go and party because that's the age that you're at. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're thinking, oh my goodness. Um, But because of the future plans, and that's actually what has been driving me. So yes. I don't actually, it sounds so strange because I've I'm yet to meet another scientist who says I don't know a scientist who has not motivated me. So it's yeah, it's a weird one. Um I, I don't think it's that weird. I, I think it's I think it's important because there are a lot of people who I, I would say would fall into the category of beauty and brains, have that creative part of them, and also love the fashion and um, just a beauty industry but also have a skill because there's one thing you're having a passion for uh, or that vision of you know helping your community in, in Congo but you also have to have the knowledge and the skills to, to be able to perform and be a scientist like you have to have some knowledge so you may not be inspired but you have the skill set to make sure that that happens and you can just do it because some people it takes a, a lot of effort and a lot of revision and I'm sure it takes revision for you as well but to take on something as being a scientist, I, I could never like me and science are not best friends. <laughs> like I stopped at <laughs> I stopped at secondary school. Like I didn't even pursue it further. So it, it gives credit to your success and your knowledge um, to get this far into your you know science and um, basically your journey. Yeah, I mean it is a lot of work. I mean we, you were with me in the library when I didn't understand anything. I honestly um, I do I. I, what I what I've got from that journey is that it won't come easy because I found it very difficult. Mm-hmm. I know it's, it was so annoying when people were like, "Oh, that is such an easy course." I'm thinking, "Oh my goodness!" <laughs> <laughs> it's part? not. It's not. An easy know, like, I have to actually. I think there was uh, there was a module that I had to set aside two weeks extra to learn how to pronounce and wow. spell some of the some of the bacteria and all that and I'm just like oh my god I'm really doing this to myself all right what's the yes. future plan let's keep going <laughs> <laughs> oh but we need we need people like you who put that effort in because we can clearly see how it's giving us such a great return mm-hmm. and you know all the labs in the all, in whole in the whole world are helping so many people so thank you for and just bringing that skill to the forefront because I think it's important for people to know that you can be a scientist but you can also be uh, interested in other things which brings me to your uh, entrepreneurship you're a business owner so can you tell us more about your business what your brand what is it about let us know so uh, my brand is Artifact by Kazadi so on Instagram it's at K C and then Artifact obviously the K is my surname um family name and then the C is for Congo and artifacts is everything's handmade Mm -hmm. and obviously like I said I want to give back to my community in uh, my own my own country so I make sure I spend money in the country so I get all the stuff there like you know I'll go try to get everything from the locals who make it themselves um and for me I feel like well if I can go to a local business here and help small businesses here. Um, why can't I then do that over there? Do you know yes. what I mean? Make sure, make sure that it's actually the money is spent over there. So that's yes. my lift way of like, oh, okay, I'm still engaged in that kind of thing. And uh, it's home and jewelry. So everything is authentic. Everything is very, very tribal. You've got, you know, um, home decors, and you know, it's a lot of. Um, I know a lot of people and some people might be into energies I'm very into energy so like all the stones they're very natural so you know net stones that will bring you peace that will bring you this and you know it's actually really 
like a nice aura to have something nice to have so if I'm feeling like I've got a bit of a bad day sometimes I'm like I need that little inner peace I'll always make sure I've got my malachite earring on I'm like I yes. need this. I need all the energy that I can get so um I then started you know I just trialed it because I was thinking I need to get something more than just a nine to five you know and I'm yeah. sure with this pandemic I've spoken to so many people and they are now in that in that uh, zone that mm. they are now thinking a little bit like you know I want this and I actually just trialed it I just thought this is really nice I'm gonna put it online I'm gonna put it online I'm gonna see and I'm like wow the, of course there's a market for it so I'll just start doing my research you know so yeah, so now it's all there. Everything literally comes from Congo, 100%. So there is no fake uh, plastics. There's no this. It's, everything is just authentic. So if you want a little bit of Congolese, then it's all green. And um, I'll, you know, I'll I'll give you guys the website as well so you can have a bit of a browse. Look on the Instagram as well. Have a bit of a browse there. But no, that's how I got into it. I just wanted um, my, my goal is to be successful yes. and um I think that the word success is different to different people mm. for me that just means being um free so when eventually I then have my kids I don't want to work my work around my kids like my kids around my work yes. I want to work my does that make sense like so it, it, it just when you know when I start working and everything sometimes it starts like slightly petrifying me I'm thinking oh my god people with childcare and all this stuff I don't I know I know I, I'm nowhere near that but I just <laughs> I, I hear you I hear you this is a lot you know so I just thought well this is it's always nice to always um aim higher you know yeah. um my my mom always says you know you should always reach for space if you miss space at least you're in the sky do you know what I mean? Yes. There's no point. There's no point asking to reach the top of the building because you might not even jump. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, it's, it's very true. Because they say, um, it, reach for the stars, and you, but you might land on the moon. And I think that's the whole, that whole sentiment. I think it's incredible that you've got um, not just your own business. You have your multiple multiple streams of income, which is very important in, in terms of having that freedom to be able to choose your life and and able to rear your your future children. And um, not have to, you're able to work around them opposed to work imposing how you work. And I like the fact that you invest back into your, your home country, um, especially, you know, for continental Africans who don't grow up or just move away and live in places like the UK. I think it's important to give back. And your, your business is not just only authentic, but also um, it's organic. And I think we need sustainable businesses. So yeah, that is yeah. a very important thing. So how do you balance, you know, your, your, your science journey plus your entrepreneurial journey and really finding the balance within that as you, as you go through your journey of finding that success that you define success to be? How do I balance? Yes. It's, it's just funny. I was talking to someone about two weeks ago and I said, I need to learn how to balance. Mm. So, <laughs> I don't actually think I balance. I think I just go, 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 go. Um, so, but I'm trying to, at the moment, um, because because I think that it's very important. Like I've got the skill of obviously as a scientist, I've got that skill, I've got that knowledge and I, I'm, I'm enjoying the fact that I can tap into that, but then I can also tap into my creative side. I'm mm. very business minded. I always have been. Um, I'm enjoying that I can tap into that. So at the moment, I'm just, it's it, you know it's when you finish work you go to work at home so yes <laughs> yes you just have to make sure that so what I was doing before because obviously sometimes you get so into it things get so busy and before you know it you've got six months you've been working every single day you've not taken a day off mm. um, what then I started doing is make sure when I'm at work I'm present I'm at work everything else it needs to I need to leave it at the door actually mm. in my house before I even get into my <laughs> car because yeah. in my car that's the free space you know and um once I'm there I need to be as productive as possible I need to know why I'm there I always think it's important when you 
do something, you know why you're doing it. Yes. Otherwise, you just don't even do it to the way that you should be doing it, you know. And if you don't know why you're doing it, you're not going to be very good at it. And therefore, you're not going to learn from it. So you're not going to take anything from it. So when I'm at work, I'm at work. And then as soon as, before I leave work, I'm thinking, right, I'm going to get him at this time. Therefore, I've got three hours. <laughs> I've got three hours to then, I don't know, take pictures. And, you know, to pictures and uploading things. That's, you know, sometimes you have to break it down. So over four days, you know, like I'm going to do this for three hours, this for three hours. While I'm doing this, i got to do my laundry. And then I'm going to have to then do this. And then, ooh, what should I eat? Yes. I don't have to cook, you know? So, but once a month, so what it was before, because I've, I've been, I've taken a bit of a break this year because I didn't realize how overworked I am. And I think when you get to that point where I need a break, your body is now telling you, you need a break. Yeah. Take that break because then, it, you know, people get like, you know, you stop, you stop thinking ahead. So you have that creative block yeah. where, you know, you, you don't even know what to do next. You're thinking I need to do this, but I don't know what, but it's because you are tired. You yeah. Know? You can't function then. <laughs> Yeah, your mind and your body says no. So you need to take that time. You need to breathe. You need to work on yourself. Uh, you know, you need to you need to read. You need to watch something positive. You need to go for long walks or go to the gym. You know, taking care of yourself. You have to remember yourself. So that means making sure you're exercising. You're not over, you know, overindulging. You're not having to, you know, eating burgers every day. So I just think, you you try to balance that side of life to get back to that energy yeah um, well, that's why you try to do it. and also it's very important who you surround yourself with like I'm very selective you, it's not everyone <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy I still am in a club <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think you know what you need to be polite to everyone you need to be nice to everyone you need to have that yeah. sense of humanity but it's not everyone who can come and taint your aura. This is why when you are tired and because you've overworked, how you get that balance is to make sure that your mind, body, and soul are actually slightly aligned. So you've that got works. that energy, you know, you've got that energy to kind of like, right, I'm ready to go sleepless nights again. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I completely hear. And I think what, what is so incredible is that it sounds like that you are really in that season of hustle, really getting things together and prepare yourself so that once you do have your future children, and I say, because I, I know I'm going to meet these future children, but once they, these future children arrive, you're like, you know, I'm set, I have everything ready and you, you'll be able to work around them. And I think that is such a, you know, great perspective to see because I think now I'm in my parenthood stage, like the early years, I've really like appreciated, I, I always keep telling you, the time you have before is just, it's, it's so precious. And you really take advantage of this season of your life before children. It's just, it's, it's the best thing you could do because now I feel like I'm doing the working, I'm doing the, all the things outside and things that I've been wanting to do. And I think parenthood has given me like, you know what, if I don't do it now, it won't happen. So yeah. I think if you have that wake up call beforehand, it's so much better because you you have this you know wealth of experience and just time to develop so that once you do have your children you'll be set and everything will be you know aligned and you know it's such a great thing for you for you to be doing so besides being a scientist you've got your business you're also a talk show host so you're today on the other side yeah, <laughs> and it must be very daunting but what inspired you to start your talk uh, talk time with crime show um, I really like hearing other people, um, talking to other people really inspires me. And this is why I said, it's, I'm very selective who I have around me. Um, because everyone's got a different energy, whether you believe it or not, it's true. <laughs> so, um, why, because I always like talking to people, see how they got into, you know, their thing. Um, I'm, you know, having debates, looking at a different perspective. I always used to say, I want to be smart and I want to be pretty. I don't know why I used to say that as a kid. I used to like, you know, you, you buy Vogue magazines and all that stuff, but I'm like, I want to be smart, but I also want to be pretty. And I think being smart as well can come from being able to reflect being yeah. able to talk to different people and see things from their perspective. 
Um, yeah. I also, when I start talking time with Khan, I'm thinking mm, there isn't really a platform where people can actually talk about their business because yeah. there are so many different people doing so many different things. And it doesn't mean I'm going to get into that every single person's business and be like, yeah, I'm going to invest in this. But it's just really amazing to hear their journey um, because for very, I think, I mean, okay, I'm in my late 20s. <laughs> <Shout> <laughs> <out>. <laughs> Let's call it that. Yes. Um, and I think earlier, in my early 20s, I was so confused because all I knew, like I said to you before, all I knew is where I wanted to be. I didn't know how to get there. I didn't know, am I swimming? Am I running? Am I walking? Am I cycling? I don't know. Right? Front <laughs> yeah. row, but, back row. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I honestly didn't know. But I think um, it used to really frustrate me to be like, oh, this person's doing this. But how come they figured it out? You know, so it was, it was like, I'm inspired, but now I'm frustrated because I have a vision. It's not like you don't have a vision. You know, you don't have, the, you know, you don't have that wake up call. You don't have that, you know, and you've got this plan and you're thinking it has to go according to plan. But like I said, you know, sometimes the universe says, nope, your ancestors said, that's not your journey. Get back. You know, <laughs> you hit that ground of frustration. Yes. But what kept me going and what I really like and who I'm surrounded by is people, you know, they started this or they're doing this or they're doing that. Oh, I've tried this. And then you still hear, you know, especially when you've got friends who are really constantly trying to do something as well. So even when they call you and they're like, oh, this isn't going well. Oh, I'm going to try to do this. And then we, we would have conversations. Well, why don't you, try, you know, bounce ideas around, do this, do that. And I just thought, actually, I really, really enjoyed that. So obviously, I wanted to get into, like, the social media side of things. I wanted yeah. to get into that, uh, you know, marketing side of things, talk to her side of things. But then, obviously, I was doing a science degree, so that didn't make sense. <laughs> but now you're doing it all, girl. Now you're doing, now it, doing all. it all. I was like, I'm trying here. It's not working. I'm like, listen, let me just finish the education. I've done it. It's out of the way now. I've been saying for years that I'm going to do it, but then I didn't have the courage. Yes. So last year, I just thought, look, what, uh, the years are not stopping. The days are not going backwards. Uh -huh. what, are <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> speak, speak, speak the truth. No, I, I think on, if, if anything happened last year is people had different forms of awakening. Like, yeah. Like, what do you actually want to do with life? Like, because it was, we don't, we didn't know what the future held. Like 2020 was such a crazy year. And you really have to like know, who am I? Where do I want to go? And yeah. how am I going to get there? Because like you were saying earlier about, you had your vision, you don't know how to get there. And ultimately a vision without action, is just a dream. And we need to stop yeah. just dreaming, but doing things towards our, our vision. And, and you've made those steps. I really think you know time is it's just passing and yeah. I can't just be doing one thing and nowadays you you can be the jack of all trades like you don't need to just be good at one thing you can dibble and dabble yeah. into everything and not just have I am just a scientist or I'm just a business owner you can do everything as long as you have the time to dedicate to it absolutely I think that it's that it was oh it was something because last year Time stopped, but it sped up. I don't mm. know if you know what I'm saying. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, you wake up and it's like, oh, it's June. Oh, it's yeah. December. <laughs> but, but nothing has happened, and you know that was a little bit scary. It was mm. actually I'm not gonna lie because you know you know me. I'm one of those people. I plan things. Yes. So I'm like, this plan has to be done and executed within the next two years because I've got a, a plan that needs to be done within the next three four years so if the two years one doesn't go it puts me back you know and time is the one thing no one can actually buy no. it's the most expensive thing that you have it, like no one can afford time you know yeah. like I just think when time stops but sped up I was like whoa <laughs> what yes so June, I've not done anything oh come on and you're still asleep in bed the sun is yes. shining like what's going on you know, and it's like, feel, feel what you feel, but make sure that 
if you you don't have to be like you know I, I think what I've realized in the last year is when you need to feel what you feel mm. and you know because if you don't down the line I think that it affects your productivity and then yes. it, it stops you from doing something else so if you feel like I said if you need to rest rest because your body will tell you you need to rest yeah if you need to sleep you sleep you no, know definitely. but I- when you are awake what are you doing? Mm. Who are you talking to? Do you know what I mean? Are you talking to that same person who's giving you the same negative energy? And you know what? Mm-mm. There's a time and a place. You've got to be like, you know, I've, I've got time today to delve into someone else's struggle because it's also part of friendship or is being there for the person in different times. But if you are mentally not able to, you know, offer that kind of thought space to that person, they have to say, I, I, I can't give this this part of myself to you right now I'm busy um because you just got to respect other people's journeys because if I am having a wonderful time and I know you're not having a wonderful time I'm not going to come to you be like oh god so happy you know you gotta match those energies (laughs) no because otherwise I I, you would feel like you're bragging or you're just like oh good for you especially you're having a great time so you have to really be in tune with other people's energies and something you said earlier about the time I don't I know you're Justin Timberlake fan and Justin Timberlake did a movie called Time where you could buy time. Yeah. And that movie is absolutely incredible. I don't think it's on Netflix. You just have to no, buy it. No, it's not. But you got to watch that. When I watched that movie and it, for me, that was a horror movie. It was actually a horror movie to me. Because I was like, whoa. <laughs> it's futuristic. Like, it's not a horror movie. It's <laughs> child-friendly. Just saying. Uh, but it's an incredible concept of really, like, people with, uh, basically in a movie, people with wealth had time. And yeah. people who were poor had to work to have time. And even though that was a, a concept, I think in reality, that's really what it is. That's so the reality. Yeah. When you talk about success and having that freedom, it's really having the time to choose. Yeah. You can own what you do with your time. And when your finances are in a position where you can't choose your time, you're, you're very limited. So Yeah, then you're not very successful. I think that's... The, the, yeah that movie it wasn't yeah it wasn't a horror movie you know it wasn't <laughs> splashing ever no not, none of that but, but it was the concept for me that really petrified me because it was like whoa yeah all you do have is time I mean and you can work 24 7 and you can always have that money in the bank but if you've got to keep going to work that 24 7 to have that money in the bank you're losing out on time you're losing out your inner peace and you're losing out on you know time with friends time with family and yes. I just don't think that's a successful road, <laughs> you know. So. Well, well, like you said, everyone, everyone's definition of success is different. And, you know, ultimately for society to work the way it is, we need people everywhere. Like mm-hmm. I would love to have my husband home with me most of the time, but he's doing 13 plus hours at the hospital. Yeah. I'm not going to be like, you can't help the National Health Service. <laughs> you got to be home yeah. with me. <laughs> so it's like, you know, we, we still need people in all the services. Yeah. And, um, but whatever you do, make sure that you are successful in your home and family life because the time that you do have with your family is very precious and you don't want to, you know, lose and build those relationships, those lasting relationships. Um, yeah. So, so, yeah. yeah. So, I was going to ask you a question, Carmel. Well, uh-huh. what, what, what was the first thing in your life uh, or the first time in your life when you realized I'm really good at something? So now we're going into the whole tapping into your greatness a part of this conversation where when did you realize you know I'm, I'm really good at this I, I have a talent that, that that's very interesting uh that's a very interesting question um I I realized that later than I should have mm. um and I think once you start spending more time with yourself uh you start really understanding who you are and what you do because obviously I think we are surrounded by your talent means you can sing or you can act or you can you know like these are the things that people say talent is I mean it is do you know what I mean but there are so many different aspects to what the word talent is yeah um, I think that's where you know when I was saying that I used to get really frustrated yes like, I want to get here but I, why don't I have a talent and I used to be so annoyed um but I think that my talent I think it will take time so that's why I said I have that vision. All I know is where mm. I'm going to be. 
And that, for me, I think that's where my talent is. And so far, no matter what I've tried, it's taking me back to where my vision is. So I think that's what my purpose is. So mm-hmm. I think that purpose is what my talent actually is. So yes. I realized that, honestly, probably maybe two years ago, two and a half years ago, like I said, I'm in my late 20s. So it's taken me a long time to figure this out. <laughs> Thanks for telling us you're in your late 20s. I think that's going to be a quote. I'm in my late 20s. <laughs> This will be the quote of the week on Instagram. Yeah, I'm going to know the number after this. After this um, but I think tapping tapping into your greatness and finding your talents, your talent, because I think I think for me, my talent is that I am very creative. I'm very good at, I'm a very good problem solver. Like that's something, although it's not a, a, a typical talent, I think that it is actually a talent. I'm very good at knowing, like, I mean, I know I'm not going to work for my pension. I I actually know that. The the universe knows that. My ancestors know that, you know. Um, (laughs) I'm taking notes. I'm taking (laughs) But I know that, you know, I'm with my creative uh, mind, I'm going to get into something and create this level of, freedom and success that I'm trying to get to so for me that's what my talent is and yes it's taken me too long to actually get to understanding that that's what your talent is Carmel because every time something happens this is where you get at this is done you sort this out this is done so I'm like oh okay so maybe that is my talent and you know I'm very good at talking to people and very good at you know the loads of little things and I think being good at loads of little things I've, I've come to understand it's actually a bit more of a blessing than being good at one sole thing because the world is changing constantly uh time is changing constantly you know technology is changing so you have to be very quick to think so how I tapped into that is just a lot of reflecting yes it's a lot of reflecting a lot of talking to set people you know I remember I had a conversation with my dad and I said, I'm so annoyed. Like, why am I not talented? Why is it that our family is not talented? But, and it's because I didn't understand what talent was. Mm-hmm. I think I just understood, I was limited to be thinking, what is this talent? So what he said to me was, Carmel, it is better to be good at so many little different things and that would be your talent than to be on one good thing. So yes. After I had that conversation, I was still annoyed, obviously, in the heat of the movie. It doesn't change anything, but yes. <laughs> but as, yeah, as time goes on, I was like, you know what? That's right. You know, you're, you're better off being, you know, like, you want to be like Jenny Lowe. You can sing, you can act, you can dance. <laughs> you know, you want... <laughs> yes, you, you can, you can, you you can do it all. Oh, you can do it. Yes. yes. And once you look at it that way, you're thinking, actually, yes. <laughs> you yes. would rather you would rather be so uh, you know a lot of reflecting a lot of uh, positive mindset speak to people who are actually in good energy speak to those people and I think they would then help you tap into your greatness because for me yes. that's what has actually helped me tap into yeah. my own no I yeah. think it's absolutely amazing not only are you in my opinion a triple threat in in, in that sense but also you realize once you self-reflect so much and be are really self-aware that everything in your life journey, like literally everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, it all leads you to your vision. And if you have that perspective that everything that's happening to me is going to help me go to that vision, that Mm -hmm. that's the most important thing because you say you wanted to help your country. You're helping your country in so many different ways. Through you, I got to know more Congolese people. Through you, I'm seeing that you know you have science and you can help a nation. And you 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 got so many different talents and just skills that you can bring. And helping your nation is not just one way. You can help in so many different ways. So just yeah. just know that your talent is not just you know felt and experienced by you, but also seen by others. So some of the things that you are really talented at are natural gifts. And but I would presume that for example your business it took you time and concentration to develop it yes. what do you think um I know you or you said about you know your vision is what you know really drives you to, to get there what are some things that you would say to a new business um 
an entrepreneur who's wanting to, you know, start something, but they haven't really got much experience, what should they concentrate on when it comes to building their brand? Okay. So I think just do it. Number one. Um, I think that at the beginning, because uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm not at number one, which is good. So at least I can tell, you know, I'm at number like five or six. I think that's where I am at the moment with my business. Um, but I think at number one, what you just don't know, a lot of reading, a lot of research, just look at people who are similar. You, I mean, you, the world does not start yesterday. So you're not the first person who got, who had that idea. So yeah. there will be, <laughs> there'll be other people who actually had that idea. Um, I think that write down a list of what you want and what, and what you want to do. Um, I think in that when you're starting it it's very good to be in people who are also starting in that um mm. uh, in the same phase so I spoke uh, you know on tour time with calms I had like one where it was um it was happy on it was entrepreneur day yeah so what was so scary is just the actual doing it and then the thing is people are not going to be your friends are not going to be as excited for your business the same way as you are excited for your business Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you come in the door, you're screaming, you're like, I'm so excited, I'm starting this. Woo! Don't expect the same level of energy. Just expect, like, oh, that's great. Yeah. So yesterday this happened and this, you know, and it's okay to, to be like that. So what you then need to do is get yourself in the groups of people who are in that same mind frame. So I always said for me, what helped me was a lot of Facebook groups yes. because there are so many questions being put in there, so many different types of groups. People would come and say, I need this. Who can get me? Like, you know, where can I find this? Oh, I've had an issue with this website because it's doing this. What do you do? And, you know, even if it's nothing, like even if you haven't actually come across that that um, hiccup, it's just nice to know that there are people around. There mm. are in the same boat. And then some people, it would be nice sometimes you just go in there and um, they're like, oh, by the way, if anyone uses this platform, I just had an issue with this, 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 and I think this has helped work best. And then, you know, things like promoting, people will literally be like, I want to buy something. This is what I need. It's someone's birthday. Tell me who, who can I buy it from? Do you know what I mean? Like send me all these different, you know, things. Mm. And I think also which is actually quite like it's helpful and I think obviously you still you you have a promoting your own thing is long I'm not gonna lie it's long <laughs> but if you don't do it post, for one post don't be discouraged if you get three likes mate yeah. that's three likes that's good you know like but it's actually long because you you'll be there you'll be like oh my god I spent all night like I literally spent six hours on this little 10 second video mm. and you know are you thinking oh you know because in your head obviously when you start something you're not thinking I just need 10 people to see it you're thinking thousands already otherwise do, do you know what I mean so yeah. when you're then straight away getting there you're like oh but don't be discouraged you just have to think every single person who views it and the more you talk about it talk about your business yes put it That's out there Yes, I did that. I did that wrong at the beginning. I tried to keep it secret. People tried to move like the ghost. You know what? Stop that. Because <laughs> you know, you no, don't them. don't tell people you how you're moving. It's like you, if you don't tell people, <laughs> <laughs> because you know, because I'm like, I don't want people to know this is my brand. I don't want people to know this is what I do. And then you know, on the flip side, you're still saying. Um, Oh, I haven't really had a lot of customers. The shade. I mean, <laughs> okay. Well, I think one 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 thing that you're saying is you you need to be open about it and share your excitement with other people. And I think what you've also said, which is really great, is having that support network. For example. Mm -hmm your friends may not be your business support network. And it's it's fine. It doesn't mean that your friends are not your friends. They just, your friends, friends are have a different place in your heart or in your life. And they mm -hmm. may not be your business support. So seek those, you know, support networks that will help you excel in whatever you're doing. So having a good support network for when you're starting a business is great, great advice. 
Um, yeah. Earlier, you were talking about you like to make goals. Uh, you have like two year in advance. I am loving this kind of thinking because I love writing everything down. How do you set your goals? And especially when you're not performing to your own standards mm-hmm. and your expectations, how do you deal with that? Um, so I have to have this because I'm a person who needs to see it. <laughs> I need to see I wrote that. And what's so good and what I've really enjoyed is, you know, you've got your little 2020 vision board or 2019 vision board. And then you even, you know, you've got that book that you put all your list in and what you want to do by this time. So I have like, I'm, sometimes I can be very specific and very harsh on myself, as people say. I don't think you can be too harsh on yourself, but people say that. Um, <laughs> I think that... I like quarterly, I like quarterly goals. Yeah. Um, so I've, I think there are two new years in a year. So you've got a new year that is like yeah. 2020 to 2021. And then you've yes. got your birthday. That's another new year. Yes, yes, yeah? I completely agree with that. Yeah. So I think there's two new years that I make goals for. Yes. <laughs> and then I make loads of little ones in between, you know, just to keep me in check. And um, what if I don't reach certain goals? Now, it is a problem if none of your goals were reached because you should have like so many little ones. You, know? you, just, you have like, obviously you have the big, big goals and then you have like your little mini ones and then you have like, you know, just, just to keep you going and make yes. sure you're aligning you in the right direction. Um, so if you don't reach certain goals, I started instead of being so harsh on yourself and being like, oh God, what that because it's so bad. But if I didn't reach certain goals, I would not celebrate my birthday between previous <laughs> years. Like I don't know what is that your punishment? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is crazy. I literally, honestly, I have a friend called Eva and she used to be like, oh <laughs> here we go again. You know? Because I literally if I, I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do for my birthday. There's no point in me celebrating. Because, you know, <laughs> what have I achieved? What have I done? What? Have I, you know, it's like, <laughs> for God's sakes, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get the tissues out, mate. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so on a level. It's so relatable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, like. So what no. I then started doing, because I couldn't have the same conversation every year. And the thing is, <laughs> there are certain things that happen that are out of your control. And it doesn't mean you've been unsuccessful. It just means that, you know, there's certain things you have to learn before you get to the next bit to then manage yourself better to get to your goals better. You know, <laughs> I told, I'm telling you, a lot of reflection. It's a, this takes a lot of reflection. <laughs> Honestly, like you're, I'm losing over here. It's absolutely, it's it's hilarious because I, I can completely relate to that. Like the, the year things, like on my birthdays, I'll have my private dinner with my husband. And we're like, what have we, achieved? what have I achieved? Like you go through your whole year, like from, <laughs> what, what have it, it's so important to, to really see how you're improving every year. And I think it's just for the assurance that you're, you're excelling because which each year, like you said, I'm in my 20s or my late 20s. You just want to know that you're, you're reaching the milestones because it's it's like at some point you're going to exit your 20s. So yeah. what have you done in all those, you know, those, those different years? So it's so important. Yeah. So what I then started doing instead of complaining all the time is um, you write, obviously you've got your list and you know, like I said, you've got the big, big goals. Like by the end of this year, I have to do this. I have to do that, you know? You've got the mini ones that you check every like three months <laughs> to make yeah. sure that you end up, do getting the big ones afterwards. Um, and if I don't achieve them at the moment, well, what I then do is what have I learned? Yeah. So it's like, I didn't achieve it. I get it because you, you know, one thing I think I've, 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 Maybe I'm deluding myself, I don't know, but I've made my piece of it. You are where exactly where you need to be. That's it. You know, if you are actually working hard, you know you're setting yourself goals, you're actually doing what you need to do, and then you are just there and you haven't moved 10 steps forward, it's because in my head I just think, what am I meant to learn here? 
And what is it that I need to do? Am I being patient? Am I learning enough? Mm. Am I coasting? You know, am I just, am I even showing up? Or is it my body just here, but my mind is not even here, you know? Yeah. And you're not going to get your next step successfully. And me, you could get there, but you might not hold it or manage it well if you didn't learn your lessons when you're meant to. Because, you know, when you're like, you're 22, 23, you're like, I need to have this kind of job. Let's be honest, at 22, 23, don't give me that kind of job. I didn't even have the patience. <laughs> but, but you still wanted it, though. Yes, you know? yes. No, I, I, I think it's absolutely great what you're saying. Also, what made me think about is, in, in my head, I've always heard a quote of, if you, of all the goals that you write down, you're, if you write your goals down, you're, 40% likely to achieve like the 40% of those goals. So if, if you have 10, if you successfully the following year can have achieved four, it's, it's, it's a great thing. So mm -hmm. on your, on your list, that, that even if I, it's not my actual, actual goal, I'll just put it in because I know I'm going to achieve at least 40%. So just yeah. write down everything that you ever wanted to do and you're mm -hmm. going to achieve something because there's a power in writing something down. And we yeah it through so and the next year could come in and then after five like after the first year you've actually achieved those little little, little, little goals that you didn't achieve the year oh. before so it just, it's just about timing yeah and just roll <laughs> it on just roll it on <laughs> literally just roll it on i mean my 2019 looks similar to my 2020 um and that looks a bit similar to my 2021 and we're nearly july so <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's not talk about the monthly overviews <laughs> but honestly it's it's incredible to, to know that there, there are people out there in the world who, you know, may similarly do goals the way you do. So I think it's absolutely great. Is there any motivational quote that you live by besides the, if you reach for a space, you'll land somewhere else? Oh, oh, I'm like, I'm, I'm full of loads of little quotes. Now you put me on the spot. I just don't even know. Ooh. <laughs> um, I think energy, energy, mm. like, you know, Sometimes, like, I always say, you know what? You'd, I always say you don't walk alone. You n you're never alone. You don't walk alone. You always walk. You've got, you know, your, you didn't give birth to yourself, so you've got your ancestors that walk behind you as well, you know? Mm. So whatever you do, do it with courage. And, you know, they've got your back. So that's, that's all you need, you know? And energy. Energy is very, very important. You know, have, let me just say this. Have you ever met someone and there's something about them? You're like, I don't know what it is. I don't think I like this person. You know what? That's that's your spirit, your energy is mm. knowing that person's energy and saying, nope, follow it. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I hear that. But some people, like, it may be very superficial things. So you you, you yeah. still have to think, is what, what I'm feeling off about this person, is it superficial or is it yeah. just like an innate thing? Because some people are like, oh, I don't like their eyebrows. And then, oh, come on, get it. That means that, that, means that people are reflecting every day. They're not writing their list. They're too focused on other people's eyebrows and not their goals. So, <laughs> like, I'm, you have to know that it's, it's not like a superficial thing, but what yeah. is it about this person? So, what, but like you say, when you're in tune with your energy, you'll, you're mm. able to send someone else's. Yeah. And I think, regardless of energies, if you be able to connect to the inner person, that energy shift may even happen as you're speaking to this person. Yeah. So you, you, when you are in control of your energy and your aura, mm -hmm. you, you can, the people around you will also be influenced by it, I would, I would say. Yes, definitely. Trust yourself. And you know what? Give my mom, mom's quote, have courage. Have what? Have courage. You need to have, have courage. courage. Yeah, have yes. courage. Yes, oh. let's all be brave. No, I think yeah. it's, it's important that, I love the fact that you say you're not alone. You have your ancestors. You've got this whole army of people who have led your existence to what it is now. So you're never alone. So thanks for, for sharing that. So in terms of building a legacy, I know that you're currently you know, working your legacy and especially when your children arrive. Um, what do you want your legacy to be you know, when you leave this existence behind? Ooh. Mm. Okay, okay. We're, we're going there. <laughs> yeah, we are. Um, I just think, I think humanity, I just want, I want to make sure that I have a sense of humanity throughout the duration of my life. And I want 
my person to have that as well and I hope my kids and my kids kids continue that humanity that sense of humanity Mm -hmm. I feel like we need that a lot more I just you know see I mean you just switch on the news that's it that's it and sometimes you're like how did this happen it's just I feel like Mm -hmm. there's just no sense of humanity so I just think that that's what I that's what I hope and I pray for for myself because that's the legacy so whatever you do and I think we we all want to be successful we all want to be you know everyone thinks like you know you just want to be rich and that and everything like that but I just think with that I just want that success to kind of continue you know to that legacy of like humanity and I think whatever you do you also always have to give something back yes no thank you I think um humanity is is so important especially in a world that is so divided about so many different things like you know when where is the humanity sometimes I wonder and I think if you find that not only within yourself but also your person and your your fruits you know your your children it's 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 a beautiful thing yeah my my, you know we're coming towards the end of the show today but I I have a, a question that is not um you can answer it if you if you want um but when you were younger and you were going through like that confusion or like that struggle of you know I have my vision I want to achieve this I don't know how I'm getting there what would you tell yourself if you have now like now with all this knowledge that you've got now what would you have told yourself then that would have helped you so much whatever you do do it properly and learn from it that's what I would have told myself I think you know the quicker you learned something you can then move on to the next step literally it's like a video game you know if you didn't step on the right step you didn't collect those coins how are you gonna get to the next level you know <laughs> yeah you keep <laughs> pulling up but you never you never, never pass level one you <laughs> never pass. so you're not collecting the coins you're just too impatient so i would actually tell myself to be patient whatever you do do it well do it right and learn from it because it is gonna equip you with what you need for your next level yes you know that's what I would tell myself because I mean you you know me I'm I I was very impatient yes no I I like what you say I've heard someone else say fail fast so if you're going to fail do it fast learn from it and move on so like you say you go to your next level um, and we want everyone to you know excel and and get to that so Carmel honestly I am so grateful that you're you're here and you know just sharing your knowledge and everything you know is there anyone or anything you want to give a shout out to where can people find you are there any projects that you're doing currently that you would like people to support um so follow me on comms x right um my business page which is um casey artifact um and i would really want to to be honest i really want to shout out to anyone who's actually in the same process as I am do you know what I mean reach out like you know let's have a chat let's have a quick talk time (laughs) you know um because at the moment I'm in that space where I'm trying to connect with like-minded people um so I would really just appreciate that energy so that's the shout out that I'm giving it to to all the people who are hustling (laughs) and getting down with it (laughs) Oh, it's crazy. And I know earlier I was saying, um, you know, your quote is, um, you know, I'm in my late 20s. But what is the quote that if if anything from this hour that we've discussed that you would want people to to go home with and really digest it? What do you want them to take from today? Uh, Find out who you are. Mm -hmm. literally find out who you are because then you will know what you're about. And I think that's very important. We're very easily influenced by different things so if you can find out who you are and find out what you're about you can be less influential you know you you, well I don't know if that's the right word but you're less influenced by others and you can find your purpose quicker wow Mm. honestly I'm always motivated after speaking with you and I'm, I'm grateful that I have you as a friend not just someone to to look up to into the different fields that you're into I'm not a scientist but I'm just happy that I have a friend in science <laughs> and so um, you know hook me up 
with the band. I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> but no, just just keep doing what you're doing and just know that I, I admire you and my family admires you. And it's just wonderful to see your journey. And I can't wait to see how far you're going to get. And I really hope that, you know, what you've got visioned, envisioned for yourself that will be your reality and you'll be able to bless the lives of so many people. Oh, thank you. And a shout out to you for having me. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. So we've come to the end of the show. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, if you're tuning in through YouTube, leave a comment, uh, leave a comment in the, the comment section and just tell us what your thoughts are. Follow my friend Carms on all the platforms that she's on. And, you know, I'll see you next week from six till seven. See you then. Bye. Bye.